Hi, I'm Marie Lockwood. Thanks for joining us today at Cakes Cooking and More. We are doing banana split cake today, so I hope that you enjoy it. Let's see what we need to get started. Okay, so for today's recipe, you actually need quite a few things. Uh, you're going to need two separate amounts of butter. These are vanilla wafers that have been crumbled up, some banana slices, some crushed pineapple, some powdered sugar, whipped cream topping, these are just some little bit of uh, chopped pecans, some cherries, some eggs, and some vanilla. And I'll put all of the amounts in the description box. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we are going to take our um, chopped up or well, crunched up vanilla wafers and we're going to cover those with our butter. Now we're going to have to melt this first in the microwave and you want it completely melted. And okay. okay. <clears throat> Now that our butter is completely melted, you're just going to pour that directly on top of the cookies. just going to lightly stir, trying to get that butter throughout all of them. Alright, now we're going to take our pan. This is a 9 by 13. We're just going to pour all of that right into the bottom. Flatten that out as much as you can. You want a nice little crust at the bottom. Okay. Now that we've got that fairly even, we're going to set this to the side and then we're going to start on our next part. Okay, so for this part, we need our butter pretty soft, not completely melted. So I did about 20 seconds in the microwave, and you're going to want to get that nice and fluffy before you do anything else. Okay, as you can see, it's got a nice fluff to it. Now we're going to add our vanilla. We're going to add our powdered sugar. And I need my spatula. There we go. Alright, so we're going to finish adding our powdered sugar. Okay. We're also going to add two eggs. Going to blend this until it's well blended. And okay, now that we are completely mixed up, you can see that it's nice, fluffy. So then we'll get all our stuff. All right, to do the now next we step. have all of our ingredients ready to go together. So we're going to take our cookies that have been softening, and we're going to take our nice mixture here. We're going to put that right on top. We're going to spread this out and try to get a fairly even layer across all of it. And it won't be super thick. 
but you should have enough to get it over all of it. Once you have a nice good layer, we'll go to our next ingredient. Alright, so this time we are going to add our crushed pineapple. And again, we're just going to do the same thing, sort of layer it on top, not too heavy, try to get it spread out. And again, just make sure that you have well drained the pineapple. You don't want all that juice down in there. And you don't have to use the whole can if you don't want to. You can shorten that a little bit. take our banana. You can actually slice them lengthwise and do long pieces, but I did little chunks. So it really doesn't matter. That's totally up to you. But you again just want to spread these out so that each person that has some gets a bite. It is banana split cake, so you want to make sure that they all get a banana. Again, you don't have to cover it completely, as much or as little as you want. Okay, now that we have our bananas on, we are now going to take our whipped topping and put our next layer on. I actually set mine out for a little while just so that it would soften and make the spreading a little bit easier. Didn't take long. I think it's been out about 20-30 minutes. I don't suggest that you put it in the microwave though because then you're just going to have a very, very thin mixture that you're not going to be completely happy with. Alright, once you've got that out, you just want to spread that in. And again, try to get some in every spot so that everybody who has some gets some. Okay, now that we have that spread out, get it kind of even on top. It's almost impossible, but... Okay, now you're going to take your little cherries and decorate the top just like you would with a banana split. Oh, I don't quite have enough cherries. We'll just move those around a little bit. There we go. All right, and then we take our chopped pecan. You just want to sprinkle those on top. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, so here is our banana split cake completely finished. Make sure that you store this in the refrigerator because it will go completely bad if you leave it on the counter. Everything in it needs to be refrigerated. So I'm Marie Lockwood. Thanks for joining us here today at Cakes Cooking and More. And uh, if you want to subscribe, remember to hit the button. The little bell next to that is to notify you of new videos. 
If you have suggestions of anything you'd like to see us make or cook on the show, add that to the comments below and I will add it to my list. Thanks and have a great day.